Hi everybody, it's Patty, and I'm Rockstar Mom, and today I'm here to talk to you about this darling wig by Henry Margu called Felicia. I am loving it. But before I do that, I want to welcome all of you. First of all, I, if you've been with us uh, with this channel for Oh gosh, since the beginning, all or, or even just within the last couple of weeks, I think you already understand what the channel is all about. But if this is your first video, maybe because you saw I was going to be reviewing this wig, uh, welcome. This channel is about aging, and it's about aging the way we want to age. I'm 75 just turned 75 and every day is an adventure every day there's something different going on with my body whether it's my face or the loose skin on my arms or pudgies over my knees it's it's an adventure that's the only way I can look at it so I'm looking and I know you're looking for ways of entering this new phase of our life and it's sort of fun i've said before i'm actually looking forward to seeing how my face is going to turn out and look who's in the background this is biscuit biscuit get off of there biscuit is normally not allowed on the sofa <laughs> No. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So, if you're interested in learning more about this cute wig, stay tuned. Before we even get into Felicia, let me say something about what's happening on Facebook right now, especially on Facebook when it comes to wig reviews. Uh, some of my fellow wig reviewers here on YouTube have had their wig videos or portions of their wig videos stolen uh, in the last several months, and they're, they're showing just clips of those wig reviews. and. They, uh, these, these companies who are advertising on Facebook have taken the, the YouTube videos, which are, by the way, the intellectual property of the content creator, of the person who created the video here on YouTube. So they're being stolen. And one of the things they're doing is they're removing the watermarks that are generally around right here. Sometimes they're up in this corner. They can be anywhere. Normally they're in the corners, but they, these companies have ways of re either removing them or they're tightening in the screen. They're just cutting that off so that the watermarks don't show. So that you really would know unless you knew those people that these were videos that had been stolen so uh, what they're doing is they're using them without the knowledge of the content creator on Facebook they're using them illegally and it's been hard to stop within the last couple of weeks they have stolen mine also and uh, so you may see my face appearing on Facebook or other social medias showing wigs. So if you see those anywhere on any social platform other than this YouTube channel, the Rockstar Mom YouTube channel, please know that I am not endorsing the wigs they're actually advertising. They are advertising a wig that might be three or four hundred dollars and they're selling a wig that is actually $20 or $30. So, you know, I would just say buyer beware. Uh, we really and truly have very little recourse on Facebook and other social media because uh, they're just, they're 
these weed companies are rampant right now, and they'll close down under one name and open up under another name, and we can block them. I've done all of the things that I need to do to, you know, for myself, and I know the other content creators have too, but they still pop up. Uh, if if someone steals our video or a portion of our video on, and uses it on YouTube, we do have some recourse, but there's just not very much we can do if it appears on other social media. So if you see me with a wig on, talking about the wig, showing the wig, I wouldn't be talking, but you would just see it. If you see that, just know that I am not there by choice that that has been stolen. And I would be, if it were me, I would be very, very careful about any wig I purchased from one of those companies because you might not get what you see or what you think you're getting. One of those girls whose videos have been stolen was Taz from Taz's Wig Closet. And if you do not watch Taz, uh, I'll put Taz's uh, channel name below uh, and her a link over to her channel and Taz only does wig reviews and she does wonderful wig reviews. I saw Taz review this wig a few weeks ago and as soon as I saw it I knew that it was not only a wig that I would like for myself but I thought many of you would like it also. Uh, one of the things that I love about this wig, other than the looks, is the price on it. So I'm going to give you again. This wig, by the way, came from Andrea at Wig Studio One. And Andrea is giving all of my subscribers a really nice discount on this wig if you order it using my link. And you once you get to that Wig Studio One website, if you use my discount code, you can get uh, that discount, and I believe it's 30%, you can get that discount on any wig on her website, any wig, using my discount code. So, thank you, Andrea, uh, for sending me this so that I could try it and show it uh, to you. But when I saw Taz review this wig, uh, it looked somewhat different on Taz. Taz's was a different color and uh, Taz's was more smooth on top than mine is. Let me get a mirror here so that I can see. Hers, hers, and she may have smoothed it out, but she talked about how smooth it was and flat on the top. But mine has just, I love this, it has really lots of curl and it could be smoothed out, but I like the curls. So let me tell you about this wig. It, the Felicia wig is a shoulder length style that is smooth at the crown with loose wavy curls falling just above the shoulders and adding a sweep of fringe bangs. Felicia features a capless construction with weftings attached to thin stretch elastic lace providing ventilation throughout the cap for comfortable all-day wear. The adjustable tabs at the nape and contoured ear tabs allow for additional comfort. The Felicia by Henry Margu is available in exclusive highlighted H and GR colors using the most current coloring techniques to add a touch of realism to every style. It, this particular wig, the Felicia, weighs 4.2 ounces. It fits an average cap size and I will say that it is one of the most, if not the most comfortable wig I have so far. Again, this color is 814H. It is synthetic fiber. 
the bangs are five inches, the nape is seven inches, the top is six to nine inches, the sides are eight to nine inches, and the back is seven to nine inches. And the color I'm wearing is 614GR, 614GR, and it's, the style name is Felicia, and it's by Henry Margu. It's rooted. That's what I love about it. I love the rooted wigs, and I love the color. It is just a tiny bit shiny, but I think... Once I wear it a little bit, I could powder it, I could spray it with a little um, dry shampoo, and it would take a little bit of the shininess away. But you know, one of, the, one of the main complaints blondes have is that their hair doesn't shine. So, you know, then what do we do? We get a wig, a blonde wig, and if it shines, we want to tone it down. Hmm, is there anything wrong with that thinking? <laughs> but, I just love this. Let me show it to you uh, all around. So, we'll start, of course you can see it from the front, but let me show you the side. And the back. I love the way it feels. You know, I think for me, uh, one of the things that I look for when I'm looking at a wig and is, is are, I like the bangs. The bangs are important to me. I want the bangs to look right. I want them to, to be right. And so I'm, I may trim these bangs just a tiny bit. Not much, but just a tiny bit. I like more sort of fluff in the bangs and and I think I could probably work with these pretty easily and just spray them. I haven't sprayed this wig yet with any type of hairspray or or even water. But I love the curls on this wig. I love the length of the wig. I like it just barely touching my shoulders. It's a good length for me. This wig would be cute pulled back behind your ears. This is very similar to my hair color, by the way. You could pull it back this way. I think you could even pull this wig up and wear it in an updo. I'll probably do that in an Another video. It's a keeper, and, and especially for it to be so cute at this price point. I know that some of you feel that some of the wigs that I've reviewed are just out of your budget. And as much as you would like them, they're just not in your budget right now. But this one you might find is in your budget. And again, that was one of the reasons I was so attracted to this wig. I want to thank Andrea again for sending me the Felicia by Henry Margu. Uh, I just don't believe that anyone could go wrong with this wig. If you like your hair curly and something that's comfortable and easy that you can just throw on and brush through with your fingers, no real styling. I took this off, shook it, and just threw it on my head. And that's all you see, except just playing with it with my fingers. As usual, it's hard to keep your fingers out of it. But I love it. What do you think? Do you love it? Could you wear it? Oh, let's do this. I think if you didn't like it quite so big, I like big hair, you could just sort of tap it down a little bit. 
but give me hair. Lots and lots of hair. Love it. Thank you, Andrea. Thank each of you for watching. Know how much I appreciate you. I love you. Go out today and just be kind. Go out and be kind, okay? You won't regret it. See you later. Bye-bye.